What up everybody, this is the boy Dryden Martello and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your add-on PH and your PH2. So make sure you guys do this very carefully because there is two tutorials in one video. Number one, we are going to install add-on PEDs. And number two, we are going to install a PED inside your game. So make sure you guys do download all of the requirements that's inside my description below. And make sure that your requirements is the latest version. Just to let you guys know too, further notice is that I've been getting so many comments through my videos and through this website too. And as you guys can see that a lot of people has been having problems with the out button not working. And some is having problems with their pens. Like for an example, pens.rpf over here. So this video is for you guys. That, that doesn't know how to install add-on pads and your pads too. I know I have did a video about how to install add-on pads before, but this video is going to be a really basic video for you guys to understand, okay? So make sure you guys do listen and make sure you guys listen very carefully because I'm going to start this video inside a clean GTA V folder. Which means I'm going to start installing this mod with no mods in it, okay? So, once you guys have downloaded all other requirements, okay? Then I will leave this mod inside the downloads inside my description below. And don't forget to make sure you guys download the peer selector inside my downloads too. Very important guys, make sure you download this too. Once you guys have completed downloading all the requirements and the mods, then let's get straight into the installing. Now, all you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, like I said before, I'm, I'm starting this tutorial inside a clean folder. So the absolutely no mods in here, not even, not even one mod in here, okay? So, before we do start, all you guys gotta do first is go to your open IV. Open up your open IV, and this will pop up. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now, this will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Now, go to Tools, go to ASI manager and make sure you install all three of them. Install ASI loader and install openiv.asi and then this application will pop up just select yes and then open camera install. Close your application and just minimize your openiv. Now what we are going to do first is that we are going to install our requirements so make sure you guys got the latest requirements because i have already got the latest versions so open up your script hook v extract folder and inside that folder there will be a bin folder open up your bin folder and select dinput 8.dll and script hook v.dll drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up. Just replace your files. Open up your script.v.net extract folder and select script.v.net.asi.dll and .xml. Drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer v extract folder and select trainer v.asi 
atrainerv.ini, drag both files inside your Reactive Audio V main folder. And now open up your Minio Extract folder and select Minio Stuff folder and Minio.asi. Drag both files inside your Grantham Audio V main folder. Now guys, this is optional. You can download it if you want to, but I always install this, okay? Download Map Reveal and open Interiors inside my description. And then open up the, the folder base. And now copy all three files that's inside the extract folder and then drag it inside your Grand Audio V main folder. Remember guys, this is optional. You don't have to do it if you want to. Once you guys have completed with that, okay, all you guys gotta do next is right click, refresh your folder, right click again, and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts. C-S-R-I-P-T-S. -S. Press enter once, and press enter again. And now you will be relocated into your scripts folder. Now, make sure you guys download P Selector, really important, okay? Now, make sure you have nativeui.dil, the latest version, okay? It has to be the latest version. And now all you guys gotta do is select nativeui.dil and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now just go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now we have finished with the installing the requirements. Now we're going to install the mod. Open up your add-on peds extract folder. Now inside this folder there will be a few things that came. Now we've got a DRC packs and even add-on peds exe the first thing we are going to do okay is that we are going to install our drc packs which is our add-on pizza here but apparently as you guys can see when you go into your mod folder there is no folder in here so if you guys are starting inside a clean gta v folder like me then inside my downloads there will be our update folder Download that folder and then extract it and then copy it into your mod folder. So I'm going to go and copy my update folder. Copy the update folder guys. And then now put it inside your mod folder right there. Don't forget guys, inside my description there will be an update folder, okay? And then now you can paste it inside your your mods folder. Once the update folder is completed, then you are done. All you guys gotta do, okay, to install your add-on peds folder is go to your mods folder, go to updates, go to time 64, go to DRC packs. And then now, all you guys got to do next is go to your add-on peds folder, click on it, and hold on to it, and drag it to your DRC packs folder. Now, just only double check, okay, to see if you got the RPF file inside there. So open up your add-on peds and check. Yes, DRC.RPF is there. Make sure you guys check, okay. Because sometimes it's not there, sometimes it is. So go back to your Granted Audio V main folder. And then now go back to your main folder on your extract folder. Now what we are going to do now next guys is click on add on peds editor.exe and add on peds vast.xml and then drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now, do not go inside the script folder, okay guys? Do not, do not go in here. Just leave it there, okay? 
Now, all you guys got to do next, okay, is open up your readme.html. And now just scroll down until you find the code. And the code is over here somewhere. I'm guessing. Uh, the code is over here. Find the DRC PEX code. Copy it. Now exit out of there. Minimize that. And now exit out of your extract folder. Go to your open IV. Go inside your mods folder. Go to your update folder. Go to update.rpf. Go to common. Go to data. Scroll right down the bottom, okay. Make sure you click on edit mode. And select yes. And then now hover over drclist.xml. Right click and edit. Scroll right down the bottom, okay guys. And then now just click on the item at the end, like this. Yeah, press enter once. And then now paste your code right there. Save the code. And then go back to your drclist.xml. And double click to check to see if your code is there. And on PS, yes. Now exit out of the application. Go back to your mod. So go back to your GGAV and then just minimize your open IV. Now open up your P selector extract folder. Now wait for a few seconds and exit out of this application. Drag it towards the side. Now open up your P selector folder that's inside your extract folder. Now go back to your Granted Audio V folder, open up your scripts folder, now go back to your extract folder, and now select pnselector.dll, okay, and then drag it inside your Granted Audio V scripts folder. And that's all you guys gotta do, and now exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Granted Audio V main folder, and then now that's all you guys gotta do, and now we have finally finished installing add-on pins and we fixed the out button. The out button will work this time now. Now, the next tutorial that we are going to do is installing a pin. Now the pin that, that we are going to install is this pin over here. So if you guys want to install this pin, then I will leave this inside my description below as well. But if you guys want to install other peers, then you can. But make sure that the peer is an add-on peer, okay? There's two different peers. There's add-on peers and these replacement peers too. So, once you guys have find or found your add-on peer, okay? Then, all you guys got to do is follow my steps, okay? Now, all you guys got to do, okay, is once you find your peer, okay? My one is over here, so I'm going to open up the extract folder. Inside the extract folder, there will be another folder. Now, there is a few kinds of peers in here, so the peer that I'm going to pick is, I think it's this one over here. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, guys. I think it's the Korean. Yes, it is. So guys, I'm going to pick this pin over here. So all you guys got to do, okay, is open up your open IV, go to your mouse folder, go to update, go to time 64, go to DRC packs, go to add on pins, go to DRC.rpf. Now this is where everybody was, was getting stuck is the pins.rpf go to pins.rpf and then now all you guys gotta do okay if you want to you can do it if you want to but I'm going to delete the whole thing because I don't need the ones okay so I'm going to delete the whole thing because I don't need them so you delete 
Now, the next thing what, what we are going to do, okay, is we are going to install this here inside our game. So all you guys got to do is copy the whole thing, except for the picture. Make sure that you're copying the YDD, YFT, YNT, and YTD files, and then drag them inside your OpenIV. And that's all you guys got to do. Now, drag one file, only one file, onto your desktop, and then exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your edit mode, go to GTA V, and then now all you guys got to do next is exit out of your open IV. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then now we are going to install the PED inside here too. Now go to your add on PEDs editor, right click and then run as administrator. Now, once you guys have run the add-on peers editor as administrator, you will come up with this application. Now, as you guys can see, there's two peers already in here. It's only because it is on my other account, on my other folder, okay? So, as you guys can see, I have other folders here, but this is my tutorial folder right here, okay? So yeah guys, um, I'm not going to delete these because they are on my other folder. So, all you guys got to do next, okay, to install that peer, is right click and then rename that file. Then copy the file. And then now go to your page drop down menu. And then I click on new peer. Now paste your model name which is that name over there and then now go to go down to peer type and the peer is a female then now go to is streamed and go to false and then now after that guys click on add peer and then now that's all you guys got to do and now the last thing that we are going to do is click on rebuild. Then select yes. And now what we're going to do next guys is exit out of your add-on piece editor. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click and then refresh your folder. Then exit out of your, your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then right click and refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Freckled. So guys, what we're going to do is that we are going to go and show you guys and spawn and spawn the peer, okay? So, before we do, okay guys, we are going to test to see if the L button works. So here we go guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And see guys, the L button does work, okay? You guys saw me installing this mod inside a clean GTMV folder. So it does work for me. If it doesn't work for you guys, and you guys already installed this mod, okay? And you guys followed my steps, then it's not the mod, guys. It's your folder. There is another mod that's affecting this mod to work, okay, guys? So make sure you guys do what's inside a clean folder and test it, okay? So, what we're gonna do now is that we are going to go and change our body. So, I'm gonna go and go here, but these two files are inside another folder. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go and click on there. Let's see, guys, it works. See? It works. So, to those of you who say to me on my videos that it doesn't work, then guys i did it right okay i've showed you guys how to do it and it should work okay um if you guys want to know how to change the output then all you guys gotta do is press f8 okay and then that will open up menu go to play options then go to wardrobe and then go to front view then go down to torso and then now uh, it will 
um, change the app for the play. You guys can change the app to to whatever you guys want to. So yeah. So guys, I hope you do enjoy that mod okay. But if you guys have any questions, okay, regarding this mod okay, or regarding on how to install it properly, okay, then please join my Discord server so we can discuss your matter. If you guys have any other mods that you want me to help you with, then I'm more than welcome to help you guys out, okay? Remember that this, this channel is all about tutorials, okay? Tutorials with, uh, with gaming and even with YouTube. And don't forget guys, that if you guys do like this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Peace and I'm out.